The physics of of most electric traction motors is is similar. Uh, this doesn't look like an electric motor, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. So the the basic way that they work is you have a a, a current carrying conductor, and it's in a magnetic field, and the result of that is the resulting force. So you have force that's equal to B, which is the strength of uh, of the magnetic flux, times the I, which is the current, and the L is the length of this uh, carrying conductor that's within the field. So to make an electric motor, we need some type of magnetic circuit to create the, the electric field. So it's a little new for me. I uh, know a lot about electric circuits, but magnetic circuits were something new. But they're very analogous to electric circuits. So, so here I have a, uh, a loop of iron or steel or any uh, magnetic material. It's a little gap in it, and it's got a, uh, electric wires coiled around it to, uh, to produce a magnetic field. Uh, instead of having voltage in this circuit, in this magnetic circuit, we have something called MMF, magnetomotive force. That's analogous to voltage. Instead of having current, these are not lines of current. These are lines of magnetic flux. And instead of having resistance in the circuit, we have reluctance. So, so basically what we have is we have MMF, it causes flux, and the amount of flux it creates is a function of how much reluctance there is. Uh, and the, the uh, MMF drop is greatest across the gap because the reluctance is highest across the gap. The reluctance of an air gap or a vacuum gap is about a thousand times higher than, than in um, steel or iron. So um, to make this magnetic field as strong as possible, you see that uh, we want to have as much MMF as possible, and we want to have as small a gap as possible. Yeah, we're working up to it. This doesn't look like an electric motor yet, but it, it will in a minute. Okay, here's here's what an electric motor looks like. This is a uh, a permanent magnet motor. So in the center we have uh, the rotor, which has got in magnets embedded into it, and on the outside we have uh, the stator, and the stator is also made of a magnetic material. The uh, magnetic flux lines go from the North Pole around and around and back into the South Pole. So this is our uh, magnetic circuit right here, this, uh, this kind of circular path. And the amount of flux that's flowing through any bit of area there is strictly a matter of, uh, it, it travels to the path of least reluctance. And just like with our magnetic circuit previously, we want uh, the, the magnetic, the gaps here to be as small as possible, which is usually just a matter of how how closely you can fit the rotor to the stator without risking uh, having mechanical contact under any condition. 